If uh, the Prime Minister really thought that uh, Nigel Farage was going to uh, join the Conservatives again, I mean, really, he must have been in cloud cuckoo land. Um, the uh, Farage had a whale of a time today, just an hour or so ago. Uh, listen to what he's got to say, where he makes it very clear that he's not likely to go back as some sort of prodigal son to the Conservative Party. Let's hear. If you'd ask people for their top 25 priorities, banning smoking, <laughs> which let me assure you I am not in favour of, <laughs> and rejigging A-levels wouldn't even have been in the top 25, maybe not even in the top 50. So whilst it was very nice to be welcomed by their delegates in the way that I was, and whilst it was generous of the Prime Minister when asked the question by Christopher Hope, now of GB News, to, to say, oh well, you know, the Conservative Party is a broad church, so perhaps we could welcome Nigel in as a member once again after 30 years of the Conservative Party. So I've come this morning. to bring you my decision. <laughs> and I don't want to spoil your day or anything like that. The very thought that I would rejoin a party who we, as the Brexit party, helped in the most astonishing way, and we did it, we did it. We did it within six weeks of launching by winning that European election in 2019 and getting rid of one of the worst Prime Ministers in British history, <laughs> Theresa May. She still seems to want to hang around, goodness only knows why. And we did it by pushing the Brexit agenda. Boris Johnson would never have become Prime Minister had it not been for the efforts of this movement and this party. No question. And, somewhat controversially perhaps, I was very, very generous to him in that general election in 2019. And some of you agreed with it, and some of you didn't agree with it. And that's what life's like. You have to make decisions as a leader and stand by them. I still believe that the idea of a Liberal Democrat, Jeremy Corbyn coalition and a second referendum would not have put the country in a good place. So maybe Rishi thought, given that I'd been so nice to them, <laughs> at the end of 2019, that I could be tempted to rejoin a party that has betrayed many of those Brexit promises. Maybe he thought I could be generous to a party that has seen legal, let alone illegal immigration, reach record levels. Maybe he thought I could be generous to a party who've just put up corporation tax on our small businesses by 30% and refused to review the IR35 rules. Maybe he thought I could be generous to a party who locked us down three times, wholly unnecessarily, with a long-term health cost to this country that will prove to be ruinous. Maybe he thought I was going to be generous to a party that has now become a social democrat party in all but name. Big state, high tax, control of every aspect of your life, virtually indistinguishable, frankly, from Starmer's Labour Party. Well, I've come today to give my answer. <laughs> very, very sweet of you, Prime Minister. But I'm really sorry. The answer is no, I will not. <laughs>